guys welcome back to planet j judah and i hope you guys are having a great day as you can tell from the title i'm going to be showcasing five of my favorite fiber art content cr content creators here on youtube now obviously i don't need to do a shout out for them because they are by far way bigger than i am but i just thought since i am still dealing with my wrist my left wrist is still hurting and by that i mean let's see i'll show you a little demonstration so I can do this you can see both fingers are up and perfect but once I do that I'm having issues I this is as far as I can go on my left hand and then once I lift this one I'm okay so it's somewhere in between these two that I'm having the issue and it still hurts not a lot, but it is getting a lot better. As you can see, I am not wearing my brace right now. I do sleep with it on though, so that I don't turn my wrist in abnormal ways while I'm sleeping. Um, anyways, so I have decided I'm going to showcase five of my favorite fiber art content creators. And at the end, I'm going to show, I have done a couple head scarves from one of the people that are one of the channels that I'm going to showcase here. So it's her tutorial. And, um, if you want to see those stick around, but without further ado, let's get into the five of, and this is just five. I'm only doing five. There's a multitude of fiber art content creators out there. And, but I am just going to showcase five today. So hopefully, Hopefully you already seen them or hopefully they're new, I should say. Hopefully I am bringing new channels to you. There we go. My mind. Oh my goodness. It wouldn't be me if I wouldn't if I didn't lose my train of thought or get stumbled on words. But anyways, I digress. Let's get into it. Here are my five some of my favorite fiber art content creators. Oh my goodness. All right, so here is one that I enjoy immensely, strictly loom knit related, as you can tell by the title of her channel. It is lumahat.com, and she has a multitude of videos. This is the one that I go to whenever I am looking for different stitches, and this is the one that I go to primarily for my... Um, stitch series and as you can see she's just got a multitude of different content let's see we'll go into her playlist uh loom, loom knit scarves cows shawls playlist um she's got a mother day mother's day great gift ideas 24 peg loom knit project patterns i mean that's the most common that i see her use her name is Denise, by the way, but I mean, you just, she's got a multitude of different loom knit creations that she does. And I am just baffled by all the things that she can and does do. Um, so, but anyways, let's see, here's her home. Um, she's just got a lot, a lot, a lot of neat uh, content on here. I mean, from wearables to amigurumi to um, practical use items like washcloths and whatnot. She's got it pretty much all. All right, so let's move on to my next one. All right, so as you can see, this one is Good Knit Kisses, and she is really great for tutorials, and you will see she does a multitude of just from the title, obviously she's knit, but as you can see in some of hers, there is loom knitting. She does do crochet and she'll do from left and right handed as far as crochet goes. She just does a lot of really great tutorials. I fully enjoy what she does and how she does it. It's easy to understand her tutorials. Here you can see this is a um, left-handed and right-handed garter stitch cowl. I mean, but she does a, a multitude of tutorials 
and is just thoroughly enjoyable. Let me take off the the video that I was watching prior. Um, but as you can see, she's got tons and tons of neat um, tutorials on here. And so I go to her for a lot of different things to watch as far as um, how to do stuff. Um, I chords. Oh, I probably need to learn how to do more of those. Uh, and she's just a lot of fun. She's a lot of fun and very enjoyable to watch. All right. So let's go on to the next one. All right, here we have Michelle Jacek. I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing that correctly. She is one of my all-time favorite uh, content creators. She does so many different things. A lot of it is crochet because that's what her community likes. But she also does thrift shopping and other crafts, sewing. I mean, you name it, she does it pretty much. And it's a lot of fun to watch her channel. Let's see what she has as far as playlist goes. Um, miniatures that's a new thing that she started doing uh, DIY projects sewing projects thrift finds vlogs crochet list you name it she's got it and she's a lot of fun she's based in Canada but she is just a lot of fun to watch I thoroughly enjoy every video of hers I really do um, but And she's just got a whole vibe, and I love it. I absolutely love it. But here's some of her stuff. Here's her shorts. But yeah, I thoroughly enjoy her. I will always, whenever her stuff pops up, I will always go to it and watch it immediately. Love it. All right, so Passionate Kelsey is one that I have been obsessed with for the last few uh, months. She is, she's got a lot of fun videos. She does, as you can see, knit as well as crochet. And a lot of her stuff is vlog style. Uh, let's see, let's go to some playlists. Beginner knitting tutorials, which I'm going to be watching, re-watching, I should say. And uh, those videos just learn how to knit because that's what I want one of the things I want to do she does crafting challenges all knit tutorials um her she plays video games so it's it's fun to watch that as well she did a vlogmas for 2023 uh crochet time lapse um live streams clothing tutorials beginning crochet tutorials all of her vlogs uh She's got a lot, a lot of tutorials and things on her channel as well. And she's just a lot of fun to, uh, to watch. I really enjoy watching her videos. They are fun to watch and it's fun to learn how she does things. I know I feel like I sound stupid right now. <laughs> anyways, anyways, moving on. But she is, she's just a lot of fun to watch. All right, so this is Kayla from Alt Knots. I am not sure how I stumbled onto her channel. I just did, and she is seriously my vibe all over the place. She's just a lot of fun to watch. She's got a lot of vlog videos. She does do some, some tutorials, but everything she does is fiber art related. She does a lot of craft stuff. She's just a lot of fun. Let's see her playlist, crochet tutorials, Halloween decor hunting. So she's really, everything is Halloween related. Um, she'll do like it's um, Springoween right now. Um, she just did Valen, Valen, I forget how she says things, but Halloween is somehow tied into every little bit of what she does. She has a haunted book club and in the book club you have a specific book for that month as well as a crochet item related to said book that you're you're reading. So that's a lot of fun. I haven't done 
I did do, I take that back. I did do one book. But I haven't actually read it yet, unfortunately. Um, she does Tunisian crochet. She's got cl um, crochet vlogs. She does um, knitting machines. Love that. Crochet alongs. Those are fun. And yarn unboxings. She's just got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of neat stuff. And she is the one that I did the um, 100 Nights of Fiber Frights. It was hers that... Um, that's where I got that from. That I still need to finish that blanket. <laughs> but let's see. She's just got all kinds of stuff. And like I said, she's very Halloween related. I absolutely love her. She is one of my favorite all times. Um, she's just a lot of fun to watch. Very enjoyable. She's very kind and quiet, I want to say. I mean, not that any of the others aren't, but she... I don't know. I just, she's my vibe. She's my vibe. That's all there is to it. All right. So I am back to me, what you see. Anyways, um, so those are five of my favorite uh, fiber art related content creators. There are a multitude, many, 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 many more that I could go on and on and on about. I hope that you find them interesting and here are from Passionate Kelsey. She has um, a bandana that she does. And I will link all of the channels as well as Passionate Kelsey's tutorial of the bandanas that I made. So this is the initial bandana. Isn't that cute? I absolutely love it. This is the initial bandana that I made. Unfortunately, I don't know if it was just I did the stitches tighter. I was wearing um, gloves to stick to crochet with and it was hard for on the my tension hand the yarn that it was hard I need to probably cut the um, the finger parts of those gloves to make it easier for the yarn to slip but this was probably a really tight very tightly knit um, crocheted stitches but isn't that cute so I got this pattern from Passionate Kelsey. I will put that up on or in the description box below. And when I made this, I made it to the pattern and it was, it's just a little small, at least for me. So I made another, a second one, not using that one glove. I had it on this hand because this is the hand that hurts. Um, but here that's this, I added two more rows and I didn't use the glove on my one hand. So my tension, <clears throat> excuse me, my tension probably was a lot looser. As you can see, this is the difference. Let's see. There we go. They're, they're right next to each other here. And down here, that's the difference. There's a, there's a two row difference. And that made all the difference in the world. But I absolutely love this pattern. Uh, it makes it really easy to do the um, ruffled edges, which is really cute. I absolutely love that. So I initially made this for me. It's a little small, so I made a second one. So this one is for my little punky. It's probably a little big for her now, but she'll grow into it. She probably won't want to wear it really all that much anyways, because, you know, she'll probably want to just take it off her head. However, I still have both... Um, this yarn, which is Red Heart Super Saver Neon Stripes, I think. Hold on. I'll be right back and I will get it for you. All right. So, yes, it is the Neon Stripe. is Super Saver Jumbo Stripes in the colorway Neon Stripe. There you go. That's, that's the colorway. And the, uh, ribbed, ribbed, the scalloped edges is loom, uh, loops and threads, color wheel, and the colorway on this is turquoise. So uh, that's what I used for the, um, I just happened to have this blue color and it just happened to be perfect for the blue in the neon stripes. I absolutely love it. So, 
I have a plan to make Matthias, my ne my nephew, my grandson, <laughs> a, a bucket hat. Now I have a question for you. These are done in the granny, um, the granny stitch, where it's the cluster of three double crochets. Okay. I am wanting to do a bucket hat and I found a bucket hat in the round done with the granny squit granny stitch <laughs> uh, as its base so it'll be this kind of um i know it's hard to see let's there it'll be the you'll see it better like this so i'm wanting to do the same thing with matthias's bucket hat but do you think that's a little girly that the granny stitch let me know. I really, that's, that's my idea. I'm going to do the bucket hat and, um, the bucket hat will be made with the neon stripe. And then I was going to do a simple single crochet border using the turquoise so that we all match. I don't know. Should I do the granny stitch bucket hat or should I do a basic, um, double crochet stitch bucket hat. Let me know. Let me know your ideas. What do you think? I, I, I Although I really do want to do that granny stitch bucket hat. I may just do it anyways, but let me know. What do you think? Do you think it's too girly to do a bucket hat for a kid in the granny stitch pattern? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope that I brought a couple of new uh, content creators to you guys and if I didn't that's fine um, let me know are you gonna start watching them if I did bring new ones to you or are they some of your favorites too and yeah hopefully I have a plan for next week is Easter so I have a couple of ideas for Easter related videos if you watched my live stream last night, my sister and I are doing a video. We are filming it tomorrow and it will be posted on Easter Sunday because it's just really cute. It's going to be another sweet treat or a sweet treat that we've already done just in a different way. So those are your hints. But anyways, I have another video that is fiber art related and hopefully I will be able to do it because my wrist is getting better. It's just a little sore every once in a while. So I, you know, I hopefully will be able to do, and it's going to be a luminate project for Easter. I will be giving them to my grandkids. So look forward to that. And with all of my chaotic mind, remember, oh, I forgot. If you like this video, hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. And if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click all on the notification bell. Now, with that, remember, gravity works, guys. <laughs>